This episode of The Modern Rogue is brought to you by Mizen. Oh man, you're not kidding. If you click that link down below and you put in promo code ROGUE at checkout, you better spell it right, R-O-G-U-E. You'll get yourself 20% off. Keep us in business. Yeah, you looking good, by the way. Yeah, I got a haircut. Hmm, nice. <laughs> These are both my favorite and least favorite episodes. I love them because there's always a surprise and I know that you have a plan, but the thing that scares me is that you have a plan. And so I don't know, like you just told me, install this, this, do that, and, and get ready for a thing. Here I am. It's all going according to plan. Yes, uh, if the plan is to <laughs> boss Brian around and tell him what to do, congrats, you've done it. I have a thing on nope, my- uh, Nope, 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 nope. I'd like to look at on my big toe. <laughs> Dress Pants Robot Man is trying to communicate with you, Brian. Uh, he's a fictional character. Uh, okay. How dare you? Let's he say here? he was. He if he was you. trying to communicate with me, how would he do it? He sent you an email. Go on. Check your email. To, uh, Dress Pants Robot Man told me he sent you an email. It says Dress Pants Robot Man to me. It says MR Theme Final MP3. Ooh. Since you realize, now's our one chance to come up with the Modern Rogue theme song. That's you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that's me. This is this is when we learned to fake guitar chords, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So all you have to do is just figure out some musical parts and we'll figure out the lyrics. Good times. Mm -hmm. I'm a man. Also, also, like, not for nothing, but, but, uh, uh we, we, we improved a fine song. Oh, yeah, I can steal a van. I got a plan. But I don't know if I can, so I gotta have a partner. A demon haunted partner <laughs> with a view. Weird twist that I decided that I was gonna be a demon haunted partner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Cause I'm a modern bro! <laughs> Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank Tip you. Your ways, Steph. Thank you, Austin. Good night. I don't know, maybe he's not good at mastering audio, but that's a pretty good song, right? What did you do? I didn't do what? What? I suddenly craved jello. What what's happening? <laughs> Freight car. <laughs> oh no! No, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> There's a message. Yeah. If I'm reading this right, the idea is that you can embed significant information in a musical file. Uh, that weird part at the end. I'm gonna turn it down as I replay it. <laughs> So it doesn't sound binary or like encoded visual information because we've messed around with SSTV, right. which basically sounds kind of like a modem, but it also doesn't sound like um, when we did our stuff, like playing stuff backwards sounds like Satan. Backmasking. Uh, yeah, right. it doesn't sound like that either. It sounds like the changelings are trying to communicate, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> If I'm gonna place a bet, it's gonna be, this is something that if you speed it up or slow it down enough, you're gonna hear something else. Am I on the right track? You are not. Oh, really? Yeah. So so, so then my follow-up guess is when you mess around with a, a shortwave radio or whatever, you get that kind of map of, of, of all the sounds. I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if like a picture were to emerge and that kind of thing. Is it? Would you like to see? Yes, I would. <laughs> okay. So Audacity, you can use that. It's a free program. You just pull up your file. This is what I'm accustomed to seeing uh, mm -hmm. when it comes to, you know, waveforms. You know, you can tell when somebody's being loud, when mm -hmm. it's quiet, that's about it. Yeah, right? yeah. And so obviously here is our weird sound, right? Yeah. Do you see anything out of the norm here aside from the spike at the end? No. As a matter of fact, I am aware that you could do like a subsonic thing, like like below what we can actually hear. So far, I, I, I see nothing here to indicate to me that that's happened. Okay, what you're looking at here is just a map of the audio, right? But if you switch it in a lot of programs like Audacity, you can switch it to 
the spectrogram. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay. So first of all, what is the official purpose of the spectrogram? Is, is to find out how much is at the high end or the low end? That's a good question. Or wait, because this is <laughs> this is what we see on the cameras. Oh yeah. Like that's how right. they know if a shot is too blown out, mm -hmm. it's too bright, too dark or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like for example, play this section here at the end. I would imagine that, that this is gonna be rogue or whatever. Yeah. Right, you're getting kind of one note and mm -hmm. a little bit of jazz happening on there, so that makes sense. Now, you see how the images down here at the right, at the end of the track, look weird, right? They look kind of like fingerprints. Fingerprints, yeah. Yeah, so if we zoom in. Oh my God. It, you can tell me. It what. looks like a brain. Oh my God. I am always watching Brushwood. <laughs> <laughs> and is it an, what is that an image of? Enhance, enhance, enhance. 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 Is it? Mr. Brushwood. Uh, That's me, man. That's my, my fist. From when? And from the scavenger hunt, when I was being the supervillain thing. Yeah, I'm not seeing, it, it looks like. My glasses? I, 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 I see, I see. Oh shoot, now it's vertical. Ah, yeah, it is you. Oh, I don't like it. But you got the message. I am always watching Brushwood. Okay, so so what <laughs> type of encoding do you call this? Okay, so I think this actually counts as steganography. Instead of embedding uh, a message in a visual element, we're embedding other messages, a visual element in sound. Yeah, there was a message on the Dark Knight Rises website back in 2011, a long time ago, uh, where it was just an audio file, but if you took it and put it in a spectrogram, it uh, revealed a hashtag that said, hashtag the fire rises. So you go to Twitter and you find the fire rises and you find little Easter eggs. It was an ARG, right? Yeah. There's one way you can do it with uh, Audition. It's part of the Adobe Creative Suite. Yeah. And with Audition, you can sit there and you can have your audio file and then you can just draw in it and write. Which makes me want to ask, like how did, uh, reverse engineering, how did we get, like, like we, we decoded it, how yeah. did you encode it? Okay, so I took the audio from the original video, yep. right, with the song, okay? But then I took this image of myself and I made it, you have to make it black and white, so here's one villain and message. Oh yeah. Yeah, now I recognize I it. I am always watching. Yep, yep, it, yep. it was tough to get it just right. You can get better fidelity with different pictures, and I, a lot of it, I'm sure, has to do with the visual noise and everything. So that's about as good as I could get and keep the message legible, but I've seen some really good ones. So I just took that image, put that on there, and then I downloaded something called Coagula, which will... You can ignore that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, just devil imagery shows up. Oh, ignore that, that is so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Just open an image in uh, Coagula. Right. Okay, I don't know what these windows do. I'm still figuring this out. So I've got this, okay? Yep. You're gonna go to sound. Okay. Render without blue. Don't know what that means. Yeah, because screw blue. <laughs> Okay, so we take that and then we go save sound as. Actually, here, uh, what? Let's try it. Okay, I'm gonna email that to you. It, send it to Dress Pants. Send it to Dress Pants Robot Man. I don't have anything to do with oh, this. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, yes. you gotta send it to him. Dress Pants. I'm gonna label it slash fig. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Let's not show this to anybody and okay. in the comments they could decode it and then see what they think it is. Oh, sure. Because it's it's a pretty noisy image, yeah, right? It is. It's, yeah, it is. I don't know how well it's going to work. It'll probably cut off the top or something like that's that. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, yeah, let, let, let's see. We will open the secret.jpg. Yeah! Looking good. Go to render without blue on the sound. Yep. So save it as a thing, and then and then let's let's see what it looks like if you yeah. aud uh, aud audacify it. Uh, yeah, I'm skeptical on, I'm on the skeptical fidelity. The, wait, fidelity. Wait, uh, yeah. uh, the image that I sent has a lot of noise going <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah, there, there there's a lot, but but if you could even barely recognize it, that'd be amazing. Do you just name every file secret? All of them. <laughs> All of the files. I don't want anybody <laughs> in my business, man. We've got it converted. We've got the wave, and we'll see what the fidelity is like. Can you squish that? Yeah, I mean, we can. Yeah, there you go. 
Oh, so you could do a left channel and a right channel, and that would duplicate everything. You could make one image the left channel, the other image the right channel, and, and between the two, you would get double. Oh, I, I guess you could. In our case, it's fairly clear. I mean, we might as well be doing just an SSTV thing. Yeah, it's real similar. Right? Not a part of the music at all, but yeah. there is real pieces of music that have these messages embedded in them. Uh, yeah, Cyber Demon, uh, the track from one of the Doom games has messages all through it. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, I want to say Aphex Twin did a couple of tracks that had hidden images. Oh my god, you, you, you realize what you just did. Oh, you've got to find them now? Uh, well, well, <laughs> yes, but also uh, everybody in the comments has to suggest their favorite oh, version yes, because absolutely. they almost certainly know more of these than we do. Uh, indeed. Okay, so there's our picture. Okay. Cut off. Yeah, uh, it is. It's, it's, there's only so much range. It seems like like the wider it is, the happier it is, because you want it to go for a long time, but you only get that thin strip, yeah. right? I'll, I'll try to get you a really long, thin thin one. I think we're, we're, we're almost there. Okay. This is our proudest moment. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Right, all right? Come on, that'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. That's, that's... Right? Okay. okay. I'm glad we're on the same page. Okay. <laughs> Our proudest moment indeed. <laughs>
There's an image I want to try this on. Uh, yeah? It'll make people really mad. Um, okay. So like, it'll make people really mad. <laughs> Is that, yeah, no, that's your... Oh, okay, all right. Do you, you want to get that phone call? <laughs> no, I Do you want to get that phone call? All right, all right, all right. Let me see what else I can I don't want to get that phone call. <laughs>